Hey y'all, welcome to Scary True Tales. I got a great short encounter story for y'all today. It comes from a gentleman in uh, rural Pennsylvania in the Allegheny National Forest, he says. Um, so he writes, this story takes place in the late 90s, early 2000s. And my dad was in the Navy. And at the time of this story, he was home on leave visiting friends and family. And this incident um, took place like I said, in rural Pennsylvania in the Allegheny National Forest. And he says, I don't know if this has any significance or not, but our town has a rich Native American history. And there's a reservation just to the north of us. Well, my dad was uh, seeing an old friend from high school, nobody, or just driving around listening to music, drinking a few beers. And they were driving along one of these very long, empty roads uh, surrounded by woods in the area. The road was dug into this huge, uh, very steep hill, covered with towering evergreen trees. And all of a sudden, as they were driving, suddenly this small black figure launches from about 40 feet up onto the right of them, off the upslant of the hillside on the right, and lands right on the pavement directly in front of the car. Now, they hadn't been able to even stop yet. There wasn't time. They were bracing for impact. And they were just about to hit this creature when um, it sprang up and jumped over the guardrail to the left and down the hillside. And apparently they both saw this thing, but weren't sure quite what they were looking at. And so they both sat in silence because neither one of them wanted to look uh, silly or sound stupid. But um, Then my dad's friend broke the silence and said, Dude, was that a frickin' monkey? <laughs> My dad says, man, I don't know. I thought I was just seeing stuff. Um, I thought I thought I was I thought it was a chimp. Except the fur was much longer and rattier, and it hung down from its arms and and was matted and wet. Um, he really didn't get a glimpse of much else. There wasn't time. It all happened so fast and. A few years later, when the internet came along and we had high-speed internet and we'd go on there and surf the internet, my dad found out about the skunk ape and saw some pictures. And to this day, he maintains that what him and his friends saw was a skunk ape. Um, he's, he's convinced that that was a skunk ape. And that, that's a great story. Thank you for sending it to me. Um, one thing I like about this story is he says, you know, this thing jumps out in front of my car. It all happened so fast. I didn't get to see much else except it had long, wetted, dark hair, um, matty, matted hair, and and then just jumped over the guardrail to the left. I, it just I thought I saw a chimp. You know, he didn't say there was this 10-foot creature jumped out in front of our car and as he was demolishing our hood with the big fists that he had and the, the moonlight was shining off of his teeth and eyes and we knew we were gone or and it wasn't nothing like that it was just a very simple short um to the point and later on when he saw the pictures of the skunk ape that's what he knew he saw he, he noticed it right away and um, I really like that story. Thank you for sending it to me. If any of you have any uh, encounter stories or any ghost stories or any good creepy local legends around your way, um, anything you want to hear, just um, shoot me an email at bob.daigle75 at aol.com. That's B-O-B dot D-A-I-G-L-E 75 at AOL.com. Now be sure to get it up on the channel for you so everyone can enjoy it. And I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do because I'm having a blast. Um, all of you people that I've met so far and people that I'm meeting every day more and more, um, it's just so much fun talking about uh, spooky encounters and your stories are just great. Um, 
So don't forget to hit subscribe and, and hit tap that bell if you want to get notifications of future videos. And um, because I'm putting them out as soon as I get them. So uh, I tell you what, I just want to say I appreciate y'all and I hope you all stay well. And I'll see you again soon on Scary True Tales. Thank you. Bye.